The 2021 winner is Barbara McGehee Frayne. Barbara McGehee Frayne graduated from Indiana University with a Bachelor of Science degree in cytotechnology in 1986, followed by completion of a Master of Science degree in anatomic pathology in 1993. She has provided service to her profession on the state, national, and international levels, including serving a six-year term as a member of the ASCP Board of Certification Exam Committee. Barbara has served as a site visitor on several occasions, as well as serving on committees for local and national organizations. She has given numerous professional lectures and workshops at local, state, and national events. Some of her most rewarding experiences include being selected as a team member to travel to Botswana, Africa, May through June 2014, and help screen a backlog of pap smears. In March 2016, she participated in a week of screening at Cerva Cusco in Cusco, Peru. Having worked as a cytotechnologist in small community hospitals and a large academic center, she currently holds the position of assistant clinical professor and education coordinator for the IU School of Cytotechnology. Hello from Indianapolis, where I would like to uh, thank the ASC and the awards committee for this uh, wonderful award. It certainly was not expected and a great surprise. Um, I'm forever grateful to have found the field of cytopathology and still practice as a cytotechnologist. I didn't even know about this until my junior year of school at Indiana University in Bloomington. And I met Roger Wall at a career event and I came to Indianapolis and interviewed and, uh, and here I am today, uh, which is as surprising to me as it is to anyone else. Uh, I think that the field is uh, amazing and incredible and has brought me opportunities to literally see the world and travel and meet so many uh, wonderful people. And then in my more recent part of my career has allowed me to work with students and to help uh, bring them in into the world of cytotechnology and cytopathology as well. I would like to thank the people who have helped me along the way. I, I'm afraid I'm going to miss some uh, by naming them. Uh, but I need to thank Roger Wall and Bill Crabtree, who were my uh, educators when I started down this path, and uh, Dr. McLant, who was the medical director at that time, and then Dr. Steve Clark, who hired me when I came to work at Indiana University Medical Center. Um, and then I spent several uh, years working for Dr. Liang Che Tao, and my goodness, what an opportunity that was. Uh, he uh, remains a dynamo. Uh, and we are still in touch, even though he's enjoying retirement. Um, now Dr. Kramer is our medical director and I absolutely adore working with him. And I, I have learned so much from, uh, from Dr. Kramer as well. Dr. Ann Moriarty has served as a mentor for me from graduate school uh, through present day. Uh, and she's an amazing, uh, amazing woman uh, to have in my life. And has taught me to appreciate art as well, which you can see a lot of that uh, behind me in my office. Um, I need to thank my, my current colleague, uh, Josh Howell, for helping me uh, get through this pandemic and rearrange everything we're doing and find a new way to make it work. And uh, the students, uh, by now they number over 150. And so I don't dare try to name all of them off, but uh, I'm honored to have been a part of their journey as well. And of course, I need to thank my, my family. Um, my family has always been so supportive. And my husband, Nick, who has uh, allowed me to do these uh, uh, crazy things that I dream up that I can do. And my sons, Ryan and Luke, who spent some time without their mom at home because she had to skip off to uh, Botswana or something like that. Um, but uh, they, they've, I think, enjoyed being along for the ride and uh, they've attended a few ASC meetings themselves. And so I hope uh, everyone is staying healthy and well, and uh, I look forward to a time when we can all be together in person. Thank you again for this amazing award.